April 18th, the day investigators say Stephen and Wendy Reed, a couple in their 60s, went for a walk on a trail near the Alton Woods apartment complex where they lived. Their bodies were found three days later on the Marsh Loop Trail off Portsmouth Street. Autopsies revealed the couple had been shot to death. Well, it's scary because this used to be a really safe neighborhood and um, for that to happen here is not good. The surrounding trails were closed down for several days while police searched for clues and increased their presence in the area. We take public safety very seriously in Concord. We are dedicating resources to uh, be more visible in the community uh, to make people feel safer. The FBI got involved and officials told us at the time just how unusual a case this was. Our 30 plus year average for homicides is around 19 a year and if you check with the medical examiner's office you'll learn that in any given year probably anywhere from 8 to 10,000 people die a year in New Hampshire. Investigators continued searching the area with high visibility patrols and about a month later, the Attorney General's office and Concord Police released a sketch of a person of interest. He's described as a white male in his late 20s or early 30s, about 5 feet and 10 inches tall with a medium build and short brown hair. He was seen at that time wearing a dark blue jacket, possibly with a hood, khaki colored pants, and was described as carrying a black backpack. In early June, investigators began searching for a car that had been parked near where the Reeds were killed, but later announced it was not connected to the case. And investigators say they've received hundreds of tips about this, and now there's a $50,000 reward being offered for any information leading to the arrest and indictment of whoever's responsible for the Reeds' deaths. We're live in Concord, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.